Dan, the founder of Crepes for Change. I'm Liam French Pool, Dan's brother. For me, it all started with this kind of small idea um, where we we take like one crepe griddle and kind of wander around with it with some sort of a stall that was attached to something very small, um, and we just kind of make a bit of money on the weekends or something. And as that sort of started to flesh out, we realised we wanted to do a lot bigger. Um, we, we wanted to be reaching a lot more people and the social change aspect, um, the social enterprise aspect, aspect of it um, was Dan's idea that he brought to me and went, this is one way we can do it. And I just went, that's spot on. That's exactly what we want to be doing. So Crepes of Change is a social enterprise and usually when I say that the first thing people ask is what actually is a social enterprise. Yeah. It's kind of a sexy word that's thrown around a lot. It's something that's kind of halfway uh, between a charity and a, and a business in the sense that um, they operate. For example behind me we're selling crepes and we'll be selling coffee with a view to generating revenue um, but then we use that revenue to affect social change um, rather than to give it back to directors. And Why are you homelessness? Yeah. Why was that the issue that you chose to support? Definitely. Um, a key aspect of St Kilda is sort of the grunge and the homeless population, the drug use. You see young kids in St Kilda, you see young kids in Melbourne all the time um, and they're just having a, a, a tough run basically and it kind of that, that gap you know, just needs to be filled really. So in terms of the future I'd love to expand and get another van um, and I mean I'd also like to sort of um, diversify from the crepes and see what else we could do. A friend of mine had an idea about um, starting up a, a brewery, so um, making yeah, craft beers that are um, a social enterprise. Wurundjeri Youth Foundation has been a massive help because um, that was the first grant that we got towards our coffee machine, which was after everything that we really absolutely essentially needed, like the crepe machines and stuff. That was absolutely next priority. Because, um, so that's what I'm most looking forward to, getting that up and running.